when the wise man eats uh, the little which uh, is fitting for him, he should eat it only in his own home uh, at his table. He should not eat it in a store or in a marketplace unless there is very pressing need, lest he be viewed uh, without respect by others. Okay, very interesting. So let's continue. He should not eat together with unlearned, nor at those tables that are filled with vomit and excrement. He should not eat frequently in order to, uh, um, in, in other places, even in a company of wise men, nor should he eat where there is a large gathering. It is not fitting for him to eat an, an, uh, at another person's table, except at the feast associated with mitzvah, for example, betrothal uh, or wedding feast, and then only when a scholar is marrying the daughter of a scholar. So that's uh, <laughs> that's uh, for for every, all of us. Uh, it's uh, like a ticket, uh, like a uh, reason not to go. So if if they invite you somewhere you don't want to go, so you you can say that Rabbi told me not to come. Okay, one second, meet. Okay, I think so. We're all there. Okay. Uh, the righteous and pious of all never partook of a meal that was not of their own. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what it all uh, means. So basically, like, uh, you have to be very careful in whose company you eat. Okay. So it says when uh, when the wise man eats a little. So I, I'm starting from the beginning. We go with company. Sorry. When a wise man eats uh, a little, which is fitted for him, he should eat it only in his home at his table. So very clearly, at his home and at his table. So what does it mean, 23? In the, um, the previous halacha discusses the quantity of food and, um, um, and the attitude with which it was, uh, it, it was to be eaten. Right? The present halacha concerns itself with a place and the company in which uh, the white should be. Uh, it, it, uh, it revolves around the principle that the person should be modest while eating and refrain from doing so in public. Okay, see also that for a pretext. Basically, so we, 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 we discuss it now. It, it's not about food. I mean, uh, food, I mean, it, it, it is about food, but it's about place where you're going to eat. Right, so and associated with the wrong people, and uh, I, it's my my understanding from from what, what was on before when they say the wise person, why a wise man? It's not like uh, he's talmid chacham; it applies to to him, but to me, it does not apply. So uh, our goal, as Rambam said, for all of us to be a wise man, that's what Hashem wants of us. Right? Uh, he should not eat in a store. Twenty four. Uh, Kol Yaakov notes that this store may even be one spe uh, spe uh, specifically designated for eating. For example, a restaurant, coffee shop, or the like. Indeed, we found um, Hebrew uh, uh, I don't know, uh, used uh, to, to refer to the place of eating, Baba Mitzia, 83b. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> so we're not talking about uh, eating in somebody's, uh, in somebody's house this morning, right? We're talking about in, in restaurants, so, and I, I pay for them my meal. So what, what is the problem? Okay, continue. Let's see what the problem is. Uh, this sentence from the beginning, he should not eat in a store or in a marketplace, marketplace commentary. Uh, um, though in uh, Yerushalayim town, uh, Masro Tritu mentioned this prohibition is a reference to the Torah sage. The Babylonian town in Kiddushin 40b condemns even a common person for such a behavior, stating, whoever eats in the marketplace is like a dog. Right? Uh, the passage in the Kiddushin continued to explain that such a person is unacceptable as a witness, and, um, and the Rambam quotes the law in uh, Hilkotit. Edut, uh, 12, uh, 11, 5. So it's, it's a laws of the witnesses. So basically what it says, so if you go to a restaurant and eat outside, right, that's uh, literally what it means, so you, 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 you're not fit to be a, uh, a witness in a court. Wait, so that's, you can eat at a restaurant as long as it's inside. 
the players. Insight is a, is a much more different. So if, if the people do not see you like uh, from, from outside. Uh, so like it's not good to eat, like let's say they have an outdoor section. You shouldn't eat out there. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then it says the marketplace. Is this like a marketplace where people go and shop? So like I see people all the time in supermarkets. They're like eating food, like, you know. Exactly, so exactly, exactly. Yeah, all, all of it, all of it. But marketplace is, 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 is a place of, of gathering of the people. But right. people walk. So yeah. it, meaning that outside of the of the restaurant is a marketplace. Right. In some oh, sense. Okay. Where people walk right back, back and forth. Gathering, right. Like a public type of place where exactly, exactly. So so people see him eating. Right. And uh, people like, like when, when people eat, they resemble uh, the animal the most. Mm-hmm. Right? Well, when he's in his nice suit and tie and stuff like that, and he speaks or uh, keeps his mouth. My mouth uh, shut, so he's uh, he he like uh, people think that he's uh, somebody like uh, respectable. But when he started eating, and especially if uh, he has a beard and uh, the, the crumbs in a beard, that's it. So his uh, his uh, his status in our eyes, not in, in our in, in other people, so drops psh, completely. Yeah. Right? Correct? Yeah. Doesn't it say, Rabbi, that if let's say a talmid chacham, he's got a stain on his shirt? It's considered yeah. Hilul Hashem in a sense, right? If he has a that, that, That's what it says. So mm-hmm. because he's a re- representative of Hashem. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. When it comes to eating and drinking also, uh, I've heard that it's it's generally better to sit and make the barakah and eat. Like a lot of times, I have a question. When you have Kiddush in Shabbat in a lot of places, right? They, everybody's standing in one room. And everybody, in fact, in most places, they stand and they have the Kiddush and then they eat everything <laughs> while standing. What do you think about it? So, so that, that, that's a hundred percent wrong. That that's what uh, did we learn it? Or we didn't get to it. No, but maybe it's in this chapter. But but no, no, I, I I've, I've heard. I know that it's wrong because I've I have uh, no, 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 I've a, read it's, that it's, in it's, it's a halacha, so it's not respectful, mm-hmm. especially when you do kiddush. So if you if you are running out of the house and you, and you took a bite of the I don't know, uh, I don't know uh, cookies and then you 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 run into to your car, it's it's one thing. I mean you're in a rush, yeah. but the proper. If when when you do bracha, when we will when we're going to get to the loss of brachas, so it says it's proper to, to make bracha sitting. Yeah, yeah. Especially the, the, the person that does kiddush, he has to sit down to to, to drink. The, the different uh, customs, how you make kiddush, you use uh, sitting, uh, standing, half sitting, half standing, you stand for for a for a first, first paragraph, then you sit. Okay, oh, that's that, that, that's well. <laughs> but everybody agrees. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. But everybody agree. When you drink the wine, you must see. Yeah, according, yeah. There are four different yeah. customs. According to all customs, you must see, right? And uh, so oh, when people exactly when when people like eat uh, standing, it's disrespect to the food. It, yeah. If if you because why I, I'm going to explain why. So this uh, this uh, this eating is, is a suda mitzvah, mitzvah what of kiddush, right? So it says that like, kiddush is not valid. Unless you ate in the same place when when you heard kiddush, you understand. So the, they involved in the mitzvah, they have to respect this mitzvah absolutely hundred percent. So this is only, but like let's say, okay, so let's say it's not kiddush or like nothing like that. But let's say you're cooking and you're standing and you're moving around and you want to taste something. That's no, no, but taste, taste, tasting is different because it's it's a part of the cooking. It's right. not. It's not. So that's okay, right? You can still say the yeah. blessing, right? And then yes, 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 yes. Okay, and another thing. You mentioned that if there's a stain on your shirt, it's a Hilul Hashem. I heard that too. Yes. Let's say it's Shabbat and it's your only shirt. Mm-hmm. And you can't wash it. And it's your only shirt. Mm-hmm. Then what do you do? Do you just okay. go out there with a dirty so, shirt? Talmud says when, uh, when, you, when you go out in, uh, on Shabbat with a stain on a shirt, it's a Kiddush Hashem. So this how is it possible? <laughs> so it says that you so you you worry about Shabbat more than you uh, 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 worry about you you want to work. You understand? So uh, actually, that, that's what we we learn in our uh, Shabbos class. So we said uh, it, that's exactly the topic, right, guys? So the topic is laundry that you're not allowed to laundry, right? right? No. So you you have one 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 short. And you want to go to the shul, for example, for mincha or uh, in the morning. Let's say you, you stay in short on Friday night. So that's that's all you do, right? So you, so you say I'm not going. I'm not going to clean it. 
You see, I, I, I manifest in Shabbos. So it's, a, it's an exception. But in, in other days, as we said before, that there's no, no, no excuse. You, you must stay for another five minutes. Walk, walk, wash your shirt and come, uh, go, go out. Understand? And nowadays, everybody's got more than one shirt anyway, so it's okay. The, the life today is so easy. Um, I, I, don't, I don't remember who was, um, who was uh, tell, tell me this story about uh, Rav Shach, I think it is great, uh, Rav Shach, that's how, that uh, when he was a little boy, so he, he would uh, come, come to the river to, to wash his shirt. And then he would learn, right? When he, he would uh, wash, put, put it on, 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 on a tree to dry, and then he would learn. So a woman was passing by. I said, the young man, what are you doing? It's not proper. You, you look, you look like you, you're a learned person, and, and you're learning uh, without the short. It's not proper. And he, he was very embarrassed. And he said, uh, I apologize, but that, that's the only short I have. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't want to waste my time until the short is dry. So she, she went home. She said, stay here. She went home and brought uh, her husband short. I, uh, and that day, one, one size fits all this. Yeah, it was different. And then he was so appreciative. So he, when, when she passed away many, many years ago, so he said, everybody, we're going to that funeral. And the people said, uh, Rabbi, who is this lady? We never heard of this lady. And he said this story, that many, many years ago, she gave me the shirt. Wow. Uh, that's a one... One short is, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's not, uh, I mean, it's, 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 it's only from previous generation that people have on the one short. Okay.